Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to try and film a little bit of convention. We are at the Florida Homeschool Convention. I'm so excited. We got upgraded in our room actually to a pretty sweet room if you can see. I also took another little video that um, of the whole room I'll share with you after. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm probably just going to show tiny little clips. So we actually left our kids at home with grandma and it's just my husband and I. So I'm so excited. I'm still trying to decide what speakers we are going to be seeing, but uh, I will turn the camera around and show you kind of like a layout and show you the highlighted ones that of ones that I'm thinking about going to. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. So when you walk in over to the right, there is this table and then there is a little breakfast bar area and just this tiny little kitchen nook thing. And then there was a little sitting area here. Out there is a balcony, which is pretty cool. And then over here was the bed. The only thing I thought was weird is like how the bread is not in front of the TV, but whatever, it's fine. And then here is a little sneak peek of the bathroom. It was pretty nice. The shower was pretty big and yeah. Okay, so they did give you a little goodie bag. Um, I printed this one at home though, but they did uh, have this in the little goodie bag when you go to pick up your badge. Um, and here are all the exhibitors and the speakers are right here i'm so excited more booths and then here is the schedule for it so you can see some of the ones that kind of highlighted oh, there's so many at the 11 30 one that i want to see this is on friday and then they have this one also for saturday here um, and then this was pretty cool. They have like a whole map of like the layout and all the vendors. So I'm so excited. So this was a pretty cool little replica of the whole resort. So this is like the parking and then the front of the hotel. And then this is the back of the hotel uh, where the swimming pools and stuff were. And then over to the left is where all of the homeschool exhibits were. So I just thought this was cool and I thought I'd share with you it. So here is one of the exhibits and you guys know, you probably knew I had a freak out over here because I love all the books. I did get a couple goodies from this booth. So you'll have to wait and see my haul that I will have out next. But yeah, um, love it all this kind of stuff and then here was another one uh i don't remember the name of this booth either but it was right next to it this was a cool lego book uh we were looking at lego stuff for my oldest he's really into legos you guys he can build awesome stuff like this without even instructions it's amazing and then here this was the same exhibit uh but here was some beautiful feet uh feet books so that was fun to flip through those and look through that because I've been interested in beautiful feet. And then not consumed. You guys, this exhibit was huge. I wish I could have shared all of it. Uh, but, you know, I was trying to look at the stuff and not film the whole time. So I just did little tiny clips of each exhibit. But they were huge. Like this is just a little portion of it. And then I just thought this was cool. Um... You guys, they had the Ark of the Covenant and all sorts of stuff. They had a shofar and all that kind of stuff. So this was just a cool little exhibit. My husband actually got my son a little ring from this shop with the Lord's Prayer, I think, on it. And then here is, what was this? Millard's Pads and Papers, maybe? I think that might have been what this was because they had a bunch of goodies there. Um, so then this i can't remember you guys I, i'm very bad with all the exhibits but i mean tons of fun stuff us born books you name it they had it at the vendors i mean there were just so many vendors so many good things good morning guys so i just did my makeup i'm about to do my hair it is day two 
of the convention and I'm so excited. Uh, we are going to go out for breakfast, then we are going to do our first class at 1030 and we are going to this one on ADHD. I recently told you guys that one of our kids has ADHD and then I suspect another one does too. And I'm really excited to go to this class because I just need all the info. So I'm so excited for that. I'm going to take the schedule with me to breakfast and kind of figure out what other classes we're going to take because there were, there was one time slot or two time slots that there were a couple different ones I wanted to um, go to, but I can only go to one at that time. So I have to figure out which one I want to go to. Um, they also had one for kids with dyslexia, which I'm suspecting my daughter has. Uh, I did pick up a curriculum yesterday that I never heard of, and it's supposed to help with dyslexia. So I ended up getting the PDF for like 35 bucks, and they give it to you on a zip drive, so that was cool. Um, she did have the option of getting the print version, but it was like a hundred and something dollars, and I would just rather <laughs> print it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I might go to a class on dyslexia, and yeah I might go to two classes I don't know and then and then I really want to go to this one uh, about high school and how to do transcripts and credits and all that kind of stuff because I have to start thinking about that because our oldest is going into eighth grade um, so there's all that yeah you guys this breakfast was so fun look at this awesome honeycomb that was dripping fresh honey amazing i loved it they had a fruit bar they had like all sorts of things but i could really only eat meat and fruit because y'all know i'm like doing carnivore slash like animal based stuff so that's pretty much what i had is fruit and i think i did eat some uh yogurt and then meat so there's my plate uh that was my second plate because i had fruit and then you guys outdoors they have this beautiful garden this was gorgeous it had it had fresh vegetables in here and everything uh but this was just so beautiful my husband and i really want to um start growing vegetables and just having you know our own garden i've killed everything um just because uh, i'm terrible at watering things <laughs> but yeah this was really beautiful and kind of inspiring uh so that was just nice and then they had this cool little uh walkway path um because they had this nature nature trail so that's what we did here is we just walked down and then we ended up going down the natural nature trail which was really beautiful they also had a golf course on this as well um but yeah this is just so peaceful and beautiful and it was so nice to just go take a walk um I don't remember if this was after lunch or breakfast, but it, I'm pretty sure it was after breakfast. It was before our, our class. Um, but yeah, so the class we ended up going to was a one on um, ADHD. And it also was talking about Charlotte Mason homeschooling, which was wonderful because my husband got to just learn a lot about that homeschool style, which is what I like. Um, so that class was awesome and it was just so nice and I loved it. So here is a picture of the trail. Um, but yeah, this was fun. Then for dinner, we went to this really nice restaurant and this is the food that we got. It was pretty delicious. All right, so editing Sarah here. That was pretty much all the footage I took. I wish I had taken more. Uh, maybe if I go next year, I'll try to take more, but it's very hard to film when I'm there trying to uh, just figure out curriculum and all of that. And also, this was the first time in like a year that my husband and I, you know, had one on one like alone time for that long. So we just spent it together. I like to soak that stuff up. So it was a nice trip, you guys. I highly suggest if you have never been to a convention, you need to go. It is. It is just so amazing, especially if you can drag your husband with you because I just feel like my husband learned so much from going to convention with me. He understands a lot more about homeschooling, what it is and what it's not. And uh, it was just really nice. Um, 
the speakers that we went to see, we went to that um, ADHD one, which was phenomenal, loved it. And then we went to, then we split up and my husband went to this um, one, it was, it was like having dads be involved with homeschooling, but <laughs> he told me they made them do like, they made like everyone sit in a group and acting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I sent you there. Because I would, if that was me, I would have been like freaking out. Because I guess he said the guy was like, you're all going to break up into groups and do, and you're going to act out the Bible. Because that was what it was. It was like um, how to like just make the Bible fun and uh like act out the bible and so i don't even know i was like i was like i'm so sorry honey that i made you go to that like i didn't think it was gonna be like that i just thought it was just gonna give some information about like how dads can come along and help homeschool and when he went to that i went to one on dyslexia and i thought this was gonna be from like a homeschooling parent and this was from like I don't remember what it was called and I don't have the paper anymore so I can't even tell you it was like a type of therapy in a way like I said I thought it was gonna be like a homeschool mom because <laughs> that's the perspective I want I don't want someone telling me like I need X Y and Z for my child to be able to read um, because I just feel like that like if like I feel I did get some things out of it but I felt like a lot of the information for me personally was like I just felt like oh well if I don't do this for my dyslexic kid th like they're not she's not they're not going to read ever really good in their life or something like that which is just not true um because I I have watched lots of videos of other moms who have dyslexic kids and they're thriving now so it just you know with dyslexia your child might just take a little longer to read and that's fine that's the whole point of homeschooling right is to be able to go at your own child's need no matter what it is whatever area it is in whether it's math reading whatever if they have a learning disability or whatnot you don't make uh, they're not being forced to either be behind in grade level uh, and then everything else is way too easy for them you get to tailor your child's education to them or push them ahead when they're not ready right so that's the beauty of homeschooling and I'm so thankful that I have that option to be able to meet my child where they're at in each different area and then what was the other classes we actually didn't go to as many classes as i intended to. i was gonna go i was gonna like do it every every single hour of both days my husband was like this is enough like this is a lot for me so because i'm just like i like to absorb as much information as i can and then i go home and i'll process it all um, and then I'll take what I need, you know, eat the meat, spit out the bones type of thing with anything. Uh, so we did also go see Jenny or Jenny. I think it's Jenny from A Thousand Hours Outside. And we went to two classes. The first one she did with, um, a guy who I'd never heard of. Uh, and they were talking about, um, it was called Earthworm Theology. And that one was all right, but I really loved her gardening one. We went to one that she did on gardening, and it was phenomenal, okay? I feel like she was just so funny. She was like, you guys, most of you probably can garden better than me, so I don't even know why I'm teaching this class. <laughs> I was like, I love her. <laughs> but it, she was just so encouraging talking about how like anyone can garden just try it so I just got a lot out of it and we actually came home and we made a garden uh, we started off with just flowers because yeah um, and we are growing some sunflowers and zanyas are they doing amazing <laughs> I mean, two of our sunflowers are looking great, and the flowers that we bought, like, I bought two hibiscus plants, and they're still alive, so I don't even know. I just feel like listening to her being real about her gardening experience, which is kind of like mine, uh, was very encouraging, so yeah, I loved it. Then we went to a class that uh, Kim from Not Consumed did, and it was absolutely amazing i think it was talking about like getting to the heart of your child or something like that 
anyways, hers was absolutely wonderful. My husband and I both enjoyed it, and I left wanting to cry because I was just so touched by it. And she is a phenomenal speaker, and I just love her. And she kind of told a little tiny bit of her testimony in in that, and I, it just made me love her even more. And uh, and just see the goodness of God in her life. So, uh, and I, it just makes me love the Lord even more. When I hear people's testimonies or just like things that they've gone through in their life and how like, you know, the Lord just helps them through it. Uh, it really encourages me and it makes me love Jesus even more. Anyway, so that is a little bit of a wrap up of it. I'm sorry I didn't share much more. Like I said, it's very hard to film when I'm trying to like process all of the <laughs> material that I'm looking at and all of that. So anyway, make sure you stay tuned for my next video because it is going to be the haul. I know this came out a little later, but we've been going through some things lately. So um, that's why I haven't had a video up and this it took so long for me to get this video out, but my next video will be what we got at a convention. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video. All right guys, have a blessed day.